Action. Oh, that's got to get turned down for sure. <clears throat> Thank you, everyone, for staying, chilling, relaxing in the tr in the in the chat. Uh, let's see. We're gonna kick off the remainder of top eight with. Oof! I'm gonna butcher this name. Chunky Monkey and Evie Doll. Evie Doll. So Yoshi and DK. So that should be a fairly interesting match. A lot of a lot of egg tosses, a lot of running at each other and pushing mad buttons. Should be fun to watch. Yeah, Gayo, we're actually investigating that because normally every all of our locals are best of threes until semis. But we'll have a more definite answer next week. But again, thank you everyone who stayed chilled throughout the throughout the stream. I'm excited to see the remainder of this tournament because we actually have a much different bracket than we did last week. Uh, our top eight last week had like two Samuses, two Nesses, two Luigi's, but we have a much bigger character variety here in our top eight. We had HBox actually getting out at fifth against Gaio, so that's that's pretty hype. We had a Jigglypuff make top eight. Uh, it's a DK, Yoshi, all the characters Gaio plays because he plays like five of them. And of course, Skittles, Hirameshi. See, no, no Kirby from Guapo. Looks like Ividel was able to overcome. So I'm excited to see what Ividel has. All right, looks like we're getting ready to get into it, too. Three, two, one, yep, and on Smashville, you know, I actually missed the stage. We had so many good memories here over the last few years leading up to Ultimate. Animal Crossing actually has some decent music. I recently found that out with the New Horizon, just how much good music is in the game. Outside of like the Smash remixes. Avenel kind of going in on Chunky Monkey. They are out of shield. Staple tool for, for Yoshi's. Uh oh. A getting caught by the copter and almost losing his stock for it. Forced to use the second jump to stop the momentum. Otherwise, Ibidel would have ended up in the blast zone. Ooh, -hoo. that's a lot of shield damage onto that egg. And egg into forward air. That's a. Always like to see the setup for, for a dunk. So. Okay. Ooh, I like the command grab. Like Yoshi's that are able to utilize the command grab to apply pressure to their opponents are such a scary thing. Because typically if you see Yoshi's like trying to fall on you, you naturally want to shield because they're gonna nair, they're gonna down air. Uh, but they also have access to that command grab, and they put you in the egg, and now you're getting hit again. So great mix-up tool to have. But Chunky Monkey was able to clean up the stock. Now, Ividale again swinging with his noggin. Okay, forward air connects, but the up smash doesn't. Still, down B from Yoshi. Gonna put Chunky Monkey really high up in the sky. Another one. That time, that one's gonna close out the stock. Okay, up tilt connects and we saw a falling up air. Just so much tail action from Yoshi. Put 50 damage on a Chunky Monkey that way. Okay, 
good chunky monkey. Like the B reverse with the the ground pound. Has a good size hitbox. It has two swings, so it takes out a good amount of time. Ooh, but that copter was so unsafe. Yoshi wins. Huh. So the first thing you do when you see like a carpet Yoshi, you hide Sid. And then you don't tell Sid that there's a carpet Yoshi on stream. Why? What does she do? She hates carpet Yoshi. <laughs> you would you would think she would like all her Yoshis. They replaced the like, best color with life. it. We used to have the really cool Yoshi Story 64 Black Yoshi, and instead we have Carpet Yoshi. Yeah, I remember always going out of my way to get the, the Black Yoshi. So worth every time. Yeah. Like, I don't even remember. It, it had something special about it, didn't it? Mm. Could have sworn it did, but I think it I made know. certain eggs. That's all I remember. Yeah, I think it made like a specific egg. Mm -hmm. All right, well, game two here. I didn't catch game one. I apologize, guys. But oh, it was very good performance from Ivido, uh, and. Just a very unfortunate ending for Chunky Monkey. This is game two, and similar to how game one ended, starting with the copter. <laughs> yep, there's that approaching with the down air. I mean, I understand why Ivido went for it. Like, Chunky Monkey started to be a little bit holding R button a little bit less because Ivido kept hitting with uh, the command grab after, just like that. Yeah, Jesus, that's a very big egg. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that animation at all. Okay, there's the oh, park he's, he's down throw. Nice pivot grab, yeah. <laughs> no, he can still survive, yeah. Oh, unfortunately caught in the middle of the forward air and forward smash from DK actually has some great range. You yeah, can't those, sleep on it. Those limbs extend so far. Yeah. Yo, excuse no, me. What? what? He literally downbeat him to, to like up air and then if it went to the right side of the station, then he got hit by Dong Punch. That's crazy. And then y'all wonder what? why I hate this character. What a turnaround from from game one. In game one, Ivido had control, and it looked like Chunky Monkey was starting to bring it back, but then, you know, just unable to close out the game. But to go from that to a three stock, what? That was an impressive comeback, I'm not gonna lie. That was crazy. I feel Ivido, though, kind of. I, didn't, I don't wanna say he gave it up. But I feel like, I feel like he kind of just like threw this game away. He's like, fine, you know what? He got me on two really big combos. I'm just going to brush it off and then I'll try to come back next game, you know? <coughs> Don't let the mental loss affect you too much. That's right. <laughs> I don't think it affected him at all. The only thing, it, anything, it powered him up. It's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost had that one. Dog copter, you know, that was a mistake. But I'm going to just give him a quick three stock and move on. Okay, well, here we go. The final game for this set. DK Yoshi. Let's find out where we're going to go. Yeah, we'll see if Chunky Kong can continue the the momentum he had last game. Because I'm not going to lie, a three stock, that was, that was a pretty impressive three stock. I'll give it that. I have to give Chunky Kong his due diligence. He did really well that last game. Yeah, but now Ivadel picking a stage with 
bigger blast zones maybe can I help if it'll stay alive a little bit longer. Yeah, more space to kind of escape DK, but I mean, not enough space to escape the. My God. Wow, the Already. aggression from Chunky Monkey. <laughs> Yet to be touched. Okay, down tilt. Gonna put a number on the Chunky Monkey. Look, this is the thing about this is the thing about heavy mains, bro. They play like they have nothing left to lose, bro. That's the <laughs> most scariest part. He plays like you know what? If I lost, you know what? You still got three stocks by me last game. It's all good. No fear, indeed. But there we go. Ividel's racking up some damage. Ninety-six percent. We did. We were able to see some egg conversions in game one. Yeah. Uh, looks like Ividel may be trying to set up for something similar. Wow. Yeah. That was that was good. That was good. He went all the way. Yeah. Max range for sure. Good. He's not gonna. I, I think it's really good from Ivido that we're seeing. Like he's making sure that Chunky at all times, and he's trying to get rid of that stock as soon as possible. Maybe the second ground pound for Yoshi was a little bit more overzealous, but that's still good. He might want to start cooling things down there because he just got parried and he almost lost the stock. Really good though on the ground pound, simply because this time Chunky Kong wasn't gonna be able to actually DI that at all. That's true. But chasing up into the skies, Monkey Kong already swinging, taking 57%. Getting some tail action from Yoshi. Oh, Chunky Kong was expecting if it to land through the platform. I just love that how like every time Yoshi gets the egg lay on Donkey Kong, the whole screen zooms out for like a cool second. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> yeah, that's how yeah, big the egg is. Big. <laughs> that is a Chunky Kong for sure. Oh, oh is that gonna be another throw? No, he's going to be able to survive. He's got the jump and the directional air dodge. Really good at coming back with the up air, making sure he has a little bit of a pressure on the shield, not letting Chucky get something out of there. Yeah, not to mention, Donkey Kong has uh, a higher percent, so it should allow Ividel to mash out earlier. I thought that man got armor from the copter, but he is still alive. Back here to take the stock. Ividel on the prowl here, hopefully just walk away with a, with a W. We'll see if Chunky has anything to say about it. Good back air. Nice spacing there, looking to get away. Even throwing out an empty hop, expecting an air dodge coming from Chucky Monkey. We did see the air dodge, but no punish from Ividel. And the copter almost took even up stocks for, our, for Chunky Monkey. Back air still not enough. These blast zones really are working for Iv in Ividel's favor. Yeah, really good opportunity to understand the stage counter pick choice. For such a beneficial factor here. 63%. Look, I'm not going to say this is Ividel's game to win because it's more of his game to lose. DK can rack up the percent. We've seen that from the past two games. Yo, that down air, oh my god. 52, I'm telling you, the percents climb as soon as possible. Forward smash, can you get the edge guard here? I'm necessarily... Yeah, oh, the pivot F tilt, so unfortunate. But the falling up air, ooh! Oh the ground no! Pound. Oh. oh, he went for the, he went for the sauce! I... I felt it too, and I was like, this is it, and then he messed up. It would have been fine if he had just done it on the ground, you know, but I I understand that you want the points. You want the extra points. Sometimes you just got a style. Yeah. I understand that, but whew, like game three, last talk, last hit, I don't know if that's the time for it. Okay, copter oh. through with that copter, you know, fortunately for Ividil. Or Next, oh. reporter. Yep. Good stuff from Ividel, pulling out that last opportune moment. I think the, from what I'm looking here at the instant replay that I kind of have like a little bit of delay on my stream, it was really good that like he jumped the minute he saw Ividel mash out. So he was just trying to account for his mash out really quick because he knows when he got grounded. That's right. Really should have just taken the taken this set instead of playing with his food. And that's what you get, unfortunately. The lesson I'm sure Chunky Monkey will have to learn the hard way. But hey, man, that's the beauty about these online tournaments, man. You can come back next week, do it all over, and maybe you can get the W next time. That's right. Well, Ividel's going to advance. And let's see. Next opponent is going to be Waka. Let's see. So... I mean, I'm expecting Luigi come out. Waka did surprise us a little bit earlier tonight with the Pikachu pick. Yeah, he did. Pikachu against Yoshi. That sounds... That doesn't sound too bad. 